Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Note to self, I should have finished my mint before I came to stand. <laughs> yes, so excuse me. All right, before I begin, I do want to acknowledge uh, all of our special guests who are here on the occasion of our new police commissioner's <coughs> official uh, swearing in. I want to thank uh, Deputy Skinner, uh, Deputy Commissioner Skinner, Deputy Commissioner um, Abel, or is it Abel? What do you say? Abel. Abel. All right, I'm just checking. Um, Colonel Palmier, um, Colonel Booker, Colonel Bizarro, Buzuro. Um, I'll get it right eventually. Uh, where's our chief of staff? Judy. You're in the back. Um, uh, we have our state's attorney, uh, Greg Bernstein. Thank you very much for being here. U.S. Attorney, where is he? Rod uh, Rosenstein. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, our city council president, Bernard Jack Young. Uh, Councilman Nick Mosby. Uh, Councilman uh, Brandon Scott. Councilman Pete Welch. Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark. Councilman Warren Branch. Councilman Carl Stokes. Am I missing? Did I miss somebody? No. All right. We have Chief Jim Johnson. Where did he? Where? Where? Thank you. Yes, from Baltimore County. Thank you very much. We believe in regionalism, and you believe in it too. Thank you for for being here. I want to thank my fire chief. He's hard to miss. Thank you for being here, and Chief Mark Megan. Thank you from Prince George's County. Thank you for making the ride up, even though at this time of day it's easier to get up than back. So thank you. Uh, and um, your major, who is with you as well. Thank you, Major Patel. I hope I, I hope I got everyone. So I just want to say how how pleased I am. Uh, first, uh, that the council saw fit to uh, approve the uh, the nomination of uh, Commissioner Batts. I was so very impressed uh, when I uh, interviewed not just with the uh, with. Chief Batch, but with the, the uh, caliber of the candidates that were interested in doing the work here in Baltimore. People see the progress uh, that we're making, uh, that uh, we're not going to accept uh, Baltimore as one of the most violent cities in our, in our country, uh, but, but know that when I say I want us to be one of the safest big cities in the country, that I mean it, and that I'm backed um, by a, a council that wants that as well. And they see how we're working together on that. And uh, I can say about my commissioner, yes, I was, um, as I've said before, when, when I introduced uh, Commissioner Batts to all of you, uh, he, he's got the right stuff to do what we need done in Baltimore. And, he, and we're all blessed uh, that he's not doing it alone, that we have a tremendous, tremendous command staff that's doing, uh, that is doing an outstanding job uh, to, to support the work to create safer communities, no matter what part of Baltimore uh, you live in. Uh, that is his charge. He knows, he knows very clearly uh, what uh, he is to do. And I'm impressed because uh, one of the first things he said he wanted to do was to engage the community in new and different ways so we can get to a place where we have a safer city. So I want to thank everyone who has come out uh, to support the commissioner, and then I will swear you in, and then you can have your remarks. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, before I do that, I would like to give an opportunity for the the um, city council president to make remarks. Thank you, um, Madam Mayor. We're um, the council. We're so happy to be here at your swearing in. We look forward to working with you yes, and helping to be a part of your success. Sure. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam Mayor. Anthony Batts. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will. And that I will. Be faithful and bear true allegiance. Be faithful and bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. To support the Constitution and the laws thereof. Mm -hmm. And that I will, that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, to the best of my skill and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality and prejudice, 
execute the office of Commissioner, Baltimore City Police Department. Execute the mission of the Baltimore Police Department. <laughs> According to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of this state. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Sign the book and then I will invite you to make your remarks. I now present to you our new commissioner, Anthony Banks. My comments will be short, they will be succinct, um, but what a grand opportunity. I am humbled, I am honored to have the opportunity to serve the city of Baltimore, the residents, the mayor, the president of the council, the council, and my command staff, and I do mean to serve all. Madam Mayor, thank you for the incredible opportunity to serve the people of Baltimore. I am truly privileged to lead such a dynamic law enforcement agency and work alongside the dedicated men and women of the Baltimore Police Department. My promise to you and the people of this great city is that the BPD will continue our progress at reducing violent crime and holding accountable those who perpetrate violence in our good streets. While incredible, the progress that has been made within this city over the last decade and several years. We will continue and strive to become better. I will challenge my command staff, I will challenge the officers, and I will challenge the city to stand up tall to make a dramatic impact. We will move forward towards community building as a family, as a city, as a unified group to make this city better. We will do this by building bridges with the community and promoting positive interaction between police and a rich cultural mosaic of the city that we know as Baltimore. And I'd like to give some thank yous as we try and move forward to earn trust in our community, which will take a lot of hard work. I have to say, when I was looking at the city of Baltimore and I was approached by PERF, one of the, the things that struck me and throughout my career is the person that I work for. I've had the opportunities to work for some, some very dynamic, is the word, I was going to say dramatic, dynamic <laughs> mayors uh, throughout my history. <laughs> 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 Needed some comic relief at that, so. Uh, some very dynamic mayors, I really have. Uh, the lady who gave me my first opportunity at being a chief, which is on the West Coast, equivalent to a commissioner, um, her name was Beverly O'Neill, a very regal, very smart, a very poised lady who I have a great deal of pride and enjoyed working for. When I saw Ms. the mayor, Ms. Stephanie Rollins Blake, and I learned more about her, I was very much impressed. I was impressed by the fact of the history and the things that she has done, being a council person at the age of 25, her dedication to the city, her intelligence, her poise, in a classy way that she carries herself. I said I would like to work for her and be part of her team. I got a chance to meet the council president, Mr. Jack Young. I was a little scared walking into his office <laughs> because I thought he was going to really kind of pop me on my bald head. But uh, uh, I have uh, <laughs> I've, uh, developed a bond with the president. I think he is a very good man. I think he has a great deal of pride uh, for this city and the things that he wants to do, and I want to work with him as a team. As I moved forward and, and met all the council people and sat down with them, I was amazed and touched by the fact of their dedication and diligence towards this city and the things that they want to do. And 14 wonderful, good people that I am pleased to be working with and to serve. I'd like to say thank you to the United States Attorney, Rod Rose, Rosenstein. Uh, I had a chance to meet with him. All the bright things now. This guy is a superstar. He's so humble and he's so mild, but he is known in this region as a superstar. So I, I am pleased to get the chance to work with him. State's Attorney Greg Bernstein, who's to the left, another superstar, a man who reached out, uh, doesn't hesitate to give me a call, gives me advice and says, I'm not trying to sit, stay, jump in your lane, but I would just tell you. And I sincerely, <laughs> and I would sincerely appreciate that his wisdom, his strength, his knowledge is extremely helpful, and, and I thank him for being a partner and a friend. The Chief of Staff, Alex Sanchez, where's the boss man, back over here on the side, has been a very strong force 
Uh, another gentleman who has supplied his wisdom to me, has guided me, and I sincerely appreciate his friendship. Uh, my new boss, Deputy Chief of Staff, Bob Maloney, that's Maloney, where I come from, spelled the same way, they call it Maloney there, Maloney, uh, a very good guy, uh, a gentleman who uh, takes time to ask me what I think, uh, works together with me, and is teaching me a lot, so I sincerely appreciate that. Ms. Kim Washington, I haven't gotten to know as well, but has uh, outstretched her hand to help to assist, so I thank her very much for her uh, support and her wisdom. Mr. Ryan O'Doherty from the Mayor's Office, he may drive you guys crazy uh, in the media, but does an outstanding job, another good friend, I sincerely appreciate him. My, P my PIO, Anthony Gu yeah, I get his name wrong, Anthony Gu Yelmi, uh, does an excellent job, he's always in front of the camera, he's back there in the back, uh, he takes the hard shots and I sincerely appreciate the job that he does. The, mem the members of the Baltimore com community, I want you to know something that's really important, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end fa fairly quickly. I am extremely impressed, and this is the third police department that I've been in, and I've been doing this for about 30 years. I am extremely impressed, and I mean it sincerely, with the command staff of this organization. A very talented team, a very diligent team, and I was just sharing with them this afternoon how hard they work, and I don't think people know how hard these guys work, the men and women of this organization. When I go out to calls at 1 o'clock in the morning, when I go out to calls that are taking place, they are always there. They, they are taking time away, away from their families. They're dedicated to the city, and I'm extremely proud of them. And please, would you join with me and give them a round of applause and yeah. the job that they do. Yeah. You see, we as commissioners or chiefs of police, we get all the accolades. We walk out and, and we pat ourselves on the back. But really, everything that has happened in this city, it's them. They've done a great job, and we sincerely appreciate it. My new partner in crime that I brought with me, uh, Chief of Staff Judy Powell. Judy and I haven't worked together before, but she's been the person that I've uh, worked with throughout the years and picked up the phone when I had a crisis and said, Judy, how do you think we should handle this in media relations? She's extremely good at that. I am blown away at her ability to organize, get on top of stuff, read stuff, get it out. She is a godsend, so I applaud her and the job that she's doing. And as I, I, uh, I kind of end it, I just wanted to say this because I kind of feel like I'm speaking as if I'm going to a funeral. This is a, this is a new beginning. It's a new beginning for me. Hopefully it's a new beginning for the city of Baltimore. This has become home for me. I have moved back to a place where uh, close to where I was born in Washington, D.C., moved close to where my family is. Unfortunately, I had a death in the family of one of my cousins, and one of the things that I wanted to get back as uh, we get a little older in age is to get close to my family. Baltimore has now become my home and my family, and I look forward to serving the community. Thank you very much. God bless you. So again, thank you very much for being here. I do want to acknowledge from the Sheriff's Department, Mr. Martin, thank you very much for being here. And I forgot to recognize Glory Peck from uh, Councilwoman Helen Holton's office, as well as uh, Jack Baker, who is representing the, the community. He's uh, Mr. Uh, COP.